Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm from Feed the Soul. Today I want to talk to you about something that I think is awesome. It's great to grow in the garden, it's fun for kids, and it attracts a lot of hummingbirds, and it's called scarlet runner beans. I think you'll really enjoy them. It produces a bean that first starts off small, like about the size of a regular string bean, and then eventually turns into a very tasty flat bean or Italian bean that's very meaty. It's very reminiscent of what my grandmother had in her yard. It used to climb up all around the front porch and there'd just be bees and hummingbirds buzzing all the time. And I thought someday I'm gonna have a place where I can put those. So I created a space in my garden. Let's go take a look. Okay, so the scholar runner beans were planted about a couple months ago and they're really climbing up this trellis I made with bamboo. It's kind of like a bamboo teepee and they're really vigorously growing up. Um, actually could have made a little bit higher because they're just wrapping around the top. But anyway, they produce a lot of flowers and they're starting to produce little beans all over it, which are gonna be awesome tasting. Around the bottom, I have a lot of flowers planted, these zinnias. Uh, which actually I got the idea from the companion gardening book that is listed on the website and it has a lot of good ideas with what to put near other plants to attract the bees and the insects that are actually going to eat the bad insects in your garden and so far it has kept a lot of things from biting these uh, leaves and destroying this plant. I've never had as much luck with uh, beans so check out the companion gardening book that I have listed on feedthesoulstore.com and uh, you know see what it says about protecting and working with environment of flowers and also plants that coexist together and actually work really well in the garden. Let me show you a close up of the scarlet runner beans. Okay here's a good shot just kind of scanning down here. It's a great haven for uh, butterflies, bees, hummingbirds. There are some of those awesome beans developing. I can't wait to have a few soon. Maybe you feel like you don't have a place to put the scarlet runner beans. If you do have a fence around your garden because you have deer in the area or just wanna keep other things out, you can put them on a fence and they do just great. I only planted about six at the base of this and look what they've become. So they're flowering like crazy, just like the ones inside the garden and uh, just really starting to produce a lot of beans. And thanks for taking a look today into my garden. Just remember the things you grow without pesticides and grow in a great environment are awesome to eat and they'll actually improve your body. So keep eating healthy. I know I'm trying.